Hi friends, welcome to my YouTube channel HRB Embedded and Craft. Today's extended project part 2 from previous video IoT based solar power energy meter using ESP32 and INA219 DC module. This is the main block diagram of our today's project. Here we are using a 12 volt solar panel and this output is fed into a buck boost converter and this buck boost converter is converts the 12 volts power supply to a 5 volts regulated power supply and it is fed to a ESP32 uh, microcontroller board as an operating voltage. And the same 12 volt solar panel the main output of this is connected to a load through INA219 sensor module is connected in series. The plus of the solar panel is connected to V in plus and the plus of the load is connected to V in minus. And the other accessories are 20 by 4 LCD is connected to USB 32 through I2C communication and DHT 11 is connected to pin number 4 as a data line. And this INA21 in sensor module is connected to 21 and 22 as a I2C communication. The total circuit diagram of this our project is as given in circuit diagram and is also explained in the previous part 1 video and the link is given in the description. Let us move into a hardware module of our project. This solar panel kept for receiving sunlight connected to a DC to DC buck converter and to a DC sensor module INA219. This buck converter converts a regulated 5 volt supply from uh, 5 to 30 volts but here the solar panel have uh, 12 volts only and it is connected to ESP32 here. INA219 receives the voltage and current from the solar panel and sends the data to ESP32 module through a I2C communication uh, D21 and D22 is connected here. Here the ESP32 we are using to extract the data from a DC module and sends uh, data to 20 by 4 LCD display and also to IoT platform uh, thingspeak.com through a Wi-Fi system. This ESP32 have uh, built in uh, Wi-Fi module. Additionally, we are using a DHT11 to observe the temperature and humidity in local environment and it, this is also uh, sends the data to a uh, thingspeak.com. Here we are using a small different type of loads like 50 ohm 10 watt resistor, 220 ohm and 270 ohm connected to observe the different power consumptions and energy recorded. This is about our uh, project hardware system. Okay, here is the program code is to upload to ESP32 to extract the DC values like voltage, current, instantaneous power and energy recorded with respect to time to display in LCD and also to send the data into thingspeak.com IoT platform. There all data is recorded and extract any type from anywhere in the world. This code requires Adafruit INA219 for compilation. First part of the program is to include the wire DHT11 that is temperature sensor and Adafruit 219 library for enabling I2C communication with the microcontroller. Adafruit INA219 library makes the handling of sensors itself. We defined some parameters of INA219 module to extract and display in LCD and IoT platform. Wi-Fi credentials are returned to connect the device with an internet and API key of the IoT platform to send and visualize the data in IoT platform at thingspeak.com website. In the second part of the code, we initialize the LCD, IoT platform, INA219 module and DHT sensors. These are explained in the previous video. That is the link is given in description. The next part of the code is a loop function that starts creating a float variables for each measurement that are all set to zero and continuously print the values 
in LCD and as well as in IoT platform. The next part of the loop function, each parameters are sent to IoT platform by setting the field. All data is updated for every 15 seconds. The last part of the uh, code is the read sensor data we are defined all values are read by uh, sensors and some calculations are made to display the values in an accuracy. This is all about the code is written for this project. Okay, now we will upload the code to ESP32 and we will see that the practically how this code is works. Okay, now the program is uploaded and uh, the device is try to connect okay it is connected to the internet solar voltage is showing zero and i am removing this data cable from the system and i am going to connect this with the solar panel So this 5 volt is taken from the buck, buck boost converter and the wire now the panel is connected to uh, cable from the solar panel yes so now the cable from solar panel solar energy meter monitor by IOT is designed by me and uh, it is tried to connect to a cloud mm, just wait yes it is connected and now the voltage showing is 11.44 volts and because already we are connected a load here because the load is already connected so this is a 220 volts is connected with the INA219C module and this is the ESP32 and DHT11 is shown here and the data is not shown in the LCD screen, this uh, DHT11 data is directly sent to uh, the thingspeak.com. Okay, now, in the first line, it shows the solar panel voltage 11.44 volts, and uh, presently it consumes the currents of 0 0.055 ampere because 220 ohm resistor and 11.44 volts is connected, and uh, particularly the power is consumed is 626.22 milliwatt. And uh, presently that energy is consumed 14.56, 14.91 milliwatt hour. So this is continuously accumulated, this energy is consumed with respect to type. And now uh, this wire is connected, um, replacing with the uh, resistance of 50 ohm 10 watt. Now it consumes more power and more uh, current. Presently it consumes 2.58 watts with the 11. Point 3-4 volts. See if I am connecting with 270 ohm, so this consumes a little reduced current. Okay, I think I am connecting somewhere here, the wrong connection. Let me connect. Okay, now it is connected. Okay, it consumes 0 0.044 ampere and 508 milliwatt. And energy is continuously uploaded. Okay, now we will go through uh, thingspeak.com website. Uh, let us see how the data is shown in the thingspeak.com website with these values. Open Google thingspeak.com channels. So, here we need to uh, create one account. 
my account is already created with my mail id okay here if you are new one uh, to this mathworks you have to create one uh, account using this uh, page and i've already created one my account so that i can easily log in then you got uh, some pre created uh, channels here solar power monitor so otherwise if you are new you can create a new channel so here it is limited to four channel it is already created a four channels if you want to create a new channel you click here and uh, enter the uh, the field whatever you have created so in your program then click on solar monitor then so this is the uh, graph where i can get voltage you see uh, now already the voltage is generated using a solar panel around 11 11.264 volts is generated and current is consumed um, 0.0442 as the load is applied so if i am applying uh, 50 ohm resistor so that current is going to be increased to a some extent of 0.224 amperes so as uh, the energy concerned the energy is continuously accumulated and uh, it shown the energy in milliwatt hour is continuously increased and power in watts is also shown this is at instantaneous now presently it consumes 2.468 watts at the same time the temperature and humidity of the local is also recorded 